Hey guys, how's going? This is Kovit from Kodak Computer Channel and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we, will, we are gonna be going over IBM Watson and I will tell you what is IBM Watson. And second part of this video, and I have divided this video to the two parts. And first part is about IBM Watson and second part is about the service we are gonna be using in this program. Sorry, tutorial. And it's in this tutorial, we will be going uh, to make a conversation SMS program and for this we will be coding the lots of lines of code and uh, I will tell you the logic behind those codes and uh, I will walk through uh, the uh, process of making all the components so let's talk about what is IBM Watson so IBM Watson is service provided by IBM and the uh, Watson is a service which will uh, make a programmer easier to uh, work with artificial intelligence and the uh, core pro behind the IBM Watson is cognitive computing okay let's uh, talk about the services that it provides some of the services are conversation visual recognition and uh, text to speech and speech to text and there are lots of way like uh, other things too and i will show you in the, just a minute and then uh, i liked much about ibm watching in this conversation app because it uses natural language classifier natural language classifier is a classifier or service you can say and uh, like uh, if i give an input of how are you and it should return me fine and I store and tell the uh, Watson if this is the input from the user then give the output of this and what if user uh, says how how's it going then our IBM Watson will again return fine though we have not stored this one and I have not told the IBM Watson if this one is done and so this one. It will classify all of these things and classify the sentiment of your uh, text and then it will check is it correct with uh, this, uh, uh, this one sentiment and if it's correct then it's written fine and that's the ca simple case. Uh, okay, so let's this. And so let's go through a conversation app model that I am going to make a diagram or over here and I will show you how it works. Okay, so I am going to make a model of this whole program. It needs four components all together. Okay, so for this purpose of message sending and receiving SMS, we will be using Twilio. And over here we have our phone that is used for sending SMS and receiving SMS. And now over here we have our web app posted on uh, Google Cloud. And I use Google Cloud because uh, I had got it for free as I purchased uh, the uh, Google Play Store account. And for, uh, for using uh, the Play Store account for purchasing it, I got Google Cloud for, uh, with $300 credit in it and free. So I am using this. You can also use Amazon server and if you have your own server, you can use it. Though I have the own server, some reasons I use that. And I will show you how you can connect to it. I won't show you how you can connect. It's kind of simple. Okay? Okay, over here we have our IBM Watson. Okay, and the, uh, when our phone will send SMS, it will go through to your server as an HTTP request. And then, to your server will again send the same HTTP request. So let me mark it. So 
that I can't, I should not write that on it. And it will again send the HTTP request to web app and that is hosted on Python Flask framework. And then again, web app will return the input HTTP request as an input to IBM Watson. Okay, and then IBM Watson will process it in its own and then send us HTTP response response as a form of text. Let's mark it as this. And then again it will send uh, from over here our web app will send to the Twilio server. Same HTTP request response but in the form of XML that is our extensible markup language. And there is a tag inside this XML called message. Says. Okay. And everything over here will be taken by this as a text. And then Twilio server will say text response to our SMC in the form of txt text okay so this is the simple model of the whole program and there are only four components needed for this program so uh, we will be going through demonstration of this whole program and how it works and I will be using my phone to send SMS to this fill your account my number and then it will process and show you all the outputs and uh, I have made this in rental house finding purpose and the, uh, this is the uh, conversation API uh, app for finding rental houses in California, Virginia and Los Angeles so we will check how we can do that and let's go through the demonstration and then we will go to the code of, of this and setup of IBM Watson and Twitter server and we will see all the process and then we'll go through all the uh, conversation app. So let's uh, jump over to the demonstration and then our computer. Okay, so we have our server running over here and this two are, the, both are the SSH and in one I have started my, over here, I have started my Python Flask application mm, by using Python command and over here this one window I have opened uh, traffic the local host uh, which is over here 127.0.1 you might not see right now and I have transferred this local host URL to a uh, public URL iuris uh, it's iuris.servia.net okay so all of these stops are good to go and all of those are connected this is my Watson file and I am going to send a message over here let's send a message saying hello okay so I have sent over here you can see hello and let's wait okay so there it's showing us okay now I think it's sending us reply and it's saying over here you might not see let's zoom in here it's written from where and which number it's saying what okay we have got the reply on this you can see and this sent from Twilio uh, trial it's sent because my Twilio account is a trial account so if you upgrade to pro account then it will automatically disappear and um, it's saying hello I am a conversation bot made by COVID he named me Koftant how may I help you so let's check find me a rental house house okay so let's send find me a rental house 
and it's sent and over there it's showing us that this in this message was received and now it's sending me a message so this delay in this message happens because of the server problem in Twilio server and now it has came and it's saying that sent from Twilio account sure how many flats do you want well I can't find more than three so let's type three flats is good okay okay there also it's saying us that this message has received now okay let's wait okay now it's saying that great you need three number of flats do you want attached bathroom or not obviously yes so let's type this yay whether it can or not uh, let's see I don't know I haven't tried before and <laughs> let's check and hope it will detect it uh, I think it's not detecting that okay over there you can see it's a broken pipe okay let's connect again and send okay now it's done and again send yes okay yeah did not reply so let's type yes okay and okay it's saying sure do you need TV or Mac in your living room so let's say Mac is best for me okay if I send this okay it's showing over there okay so it's showing us that okay you want Mac do you want house in a specific reason I can search in California Virginia and Los Angeles so let's say California California okay and let's see okay it has detected over there okay let's type here Virginia and sent okay it's sent they're also detected okay so it might take a while because the problem in uh, IBM Watson Bluemix uh, server and problem in Twilio server too. So d be patient and wait. It will come. So I will return after. Okay. It has come over here. It's saying, wait, you want home in Virginia? Now I am going to uh, order for the best price. Here are the details. Okay. So here it's not showing me the place and fat because. I just resetted it, restarted it because the server was breakdown down over there as I have not installed uh, security in my Flask uh, account so it was stopping so I restarted it so over here you can see after flat and semicolon it's not showing a colon it's not showing the number over here it would show the number so it's saying and all the uh, information are not over here just the place is over here because I reset it over here and just uh, write word Virginia so it's saying type confirm if you want to confirm let's see sorry C O N F I R M confirm and let's send and okay okay over there detected now it will come here let's see 
okay okay please provide your email so let's provide my email at gmail dot com so i have over here let's send this one my gmail account it sent okay that's all and your if you have uh, written some code to order it by uh, doing some API keys and it you can also integrate the ordering task but over here I just showed you the demo and let's go to the, our PC and see how you can create it so we are here in our computer guys and <clears throat> I have over here Watson service opened you can also create it by creating an account for free and you are uh, allowed to make five workspaces at all and you can use for that and after creating your resource as assistant Watson assistant formerly conversation and you have to click on launch tool and after doing the launch tool you, uh, you have to upload this file the files link will be in the description box or github github and the link of github will be in the description box below then you have to simply upload this this file and then you have to open like this and our workspace will be done and then let's go through our Twilio. Create a Twilio account and uh, you will get a free trial um, phone number for your Twilio. So after going to that uh, paste your servers uh, servers URL and if you are using a local host you can use servio.net to create your own uh, World Wide Web uh, URL and that's all we need and then you have to use server so let me so sorry okay okay let me show my watson.py and this is our file that is made in flask with python so let's create it and it's taking time let's wait till it opens okay so we have over here our watson.py and let me understand uh, make you understand what is going through it and we are setting up and <coughs> we are importing watson developer cloud that is our main watson platform developing so for this purpose you have to install uh, Watson developer cloud flask and Twilio in your server with pip install or easy install and after that we have defined flask app as an app and then we have created a decorator that is at app dot root if it's the root of main directory or main URL then we have to return SMS and you can use here HTML code too. And if the root is SMS less SMS, then the methods we are going to give is get and post. So what is that? Okay. So get and post. And uh, what is that is if I run this code, then I will be going through. 1 to 7.0.0.1 dot zero dot zero dot is to 5000 port and after getting to that if here is get method then you will also see and in post method you can't see uh, from your direct URL but if you uh, su submit the call command then it will show you so we are using both those methods you can also use post or get only and then if this is done then uh, we have start our Twilio and we will get the phone number 
and country and message body okay and we don't need this one and we have to print that print had sent a message saying something from something and we are formatting this with that and in console we are will be getting uh, dash 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 number has sent a message saying hello from Nepal like that and he from here our service starts and we have uh, named our service as uh, service and the service is assistant version 1 and for that username password and version okay so I will be changing this whole username password and so you can't copy this and you have to put your workspace ID all of those will be in your credential section let's open that credential sections and over here uh, okay over here you can click on so and if you want to change the credentials you can click on this and here is what wor username and password and workspace ID will be in the workspace section okay let me show you and where you can find that so you can go to workspace and you can go through that and view details and over here you can see workspace ID so I will change all of this after this recording of this video sorry okay let's go through our another thing that user so the user input that is uh, uh, taking that user is uh, sorry Watson is taking is the message body over here we store the message body is the value that user sent okay and that will be our message and string of that message body and context equals to till now it's null and uh, we will be running this until it's true so true is always true so it will uh, run continuously without a loop this is the loop so the response that uh, Watson is going to send is service with this uh, credentials we will send a message and workspace ID with workspace ID and input is user input that is our message body and after that the const context will be context so what is context is uh, the context is the <coughs> intense uh, message which is running over current time and if response it has the intents then we will print that detected intent is this intent okay and then if response has output in text then response and this is the response is equal to messaging response so over here we have uh, imported from Twilio so here it's going to Twilio okay response is the messaging response to Twilio and Twilio and Twilio will send a message of the response that is has sent by this is the response sent by Watson and then we will be returning the response to Twilio and the context will be response of context and the app will run so this is the code behind the whole this project and then you can uh, change this to mm, your redirected ok so let me show you so this is from here SMS okay something slash SMS will run all these codes so the uh, uh, thing is all of this one and you as you send the message then it will process and give output so I hope you guys like this video if you guys do like please hope uh, like that button and uh, smash that like button and don't forget to share this video as this is the first video tutorial on Watson and you can also build your own chatbot with SMS so thank you guys for watching this video and I'll meet you in the next one